Alright, the patch notes dropped. Let us see what's been changed. So the new weapons, awesome. Second kit's been put in, brilliant. Let's check out the stage changes and oh my bloody god. So yeah, I don't know what the devs are doing this update, but they've certainly turned a gear in a certain way that's completely changed how they're updating stages. We've had some alright minor changes to stages here and then over the first few years to then having complete reworks in the later half of the game. And here we are on the last season and we're given 13 different stages with different reworks. Some of which which don't make much of an impact, but others which completely overhaul the entire stage. In today's video, we're going to cover every single stage change that is happening in this final patch. This video is significant longer than what I usually do with my videos, but that's just because there's so much to go through and I wanted to get it all in one video. So if that's kind of long from content, then let me know and I might do more of it. But with all being said, let us get in and start analysing this bomb of a stage rework cluster that is patch 8.0.0. Enjoy the video. Alright, oh my god. <laughs> Immediately off of that, okay, so you can climb up this wall here and you have some inkable blocks to stay on, which is not bad. I'm glad they put these here at least. I don't like how this is not inkable though. It's kind of interesting how they put the glass up here, but I get you can now sit up here now. There's also a block here, which makes it a bit easier to reverse ourselves just a little bit. This block, now too high. That block is now one wide shorter, like I expected. This is now being... <gasps> It's finally inkable! Oh my god, let's go the devs! W change, W change! Let's keep moving, because <laughs> I'm going to be here forever if I'm going to do it. This is now actually taking down well, so now you have a wee peak ledge here. You've got this whole right side, which is pretty much unchanged. Outside of this wee block thing, that's pretty neat. You've got a wee section high up here, you've got more high ground, pretty good. Let's go to the left side. Um, this has been raised up, as expected. This whole wall's been removed, actually. I didn't notice it in the my initial video over the reworks for Mark on Dime and, my, and Hammerhead, but this is all taken away, and now you've got this massive drop where you can now, well, you can pressure up there and you can shoot probably, you can just barely shoot down there, but you can now go up here and you can jump all the way up here and you can pressure like this, and is this, it's not an underpass actually, so I was wrong with the underpass actually, very interesting, so you can't really go underneath, it was just glass, but you can still go around it, you can see through it to the other side, so that's actually not bad, you can go over here, and they made that uninkable as well, they've moved this wall back, so that's not bad actually, this block here, on this side. And it was also another thing I, um, I missed. I mentioned it in the editing, but there's a ramp here as well. So that's pretty good. Pull. <laughs> we, got this, we got the mini pull update for the stage. And now, the massive change. I want to do this from spawn because it's going to be so good. After several months of the stage being the game, we now have an alternate route to get in to mid! And it's so low down as well, like Jesus Lord, this is so far down. But yeah, now you have this area you can go up here, which is pretty good because you can jump up here now. Although, one humongous flaw, not inkable. He's here. You can't exactly jump there, which is kind of unfortunate. Like, maybe you can do it if you look like it's a very tight jump, but I don't think it's even close to be possible. Nah. But now you have an alternate path to get up here, and you have a big block to do some bulking, pretty good. This block here now exists, so you can jump up to here, and you can pressure up like this, or you can do this. And you have this block as cover as well. It's not inkable on many sides, and this only goes up to... This doesn't go all the way up top, so that's kind of unfortunate. But it's okay. And of course you got the block, so now you can do some peeking like this. You can do some right side peeking, of course, still here. You can do right side peek over here now, instead of being stuck behind this this upper block here. Now if this changes, you can get out of spawn a lot easier with that right side being pressurable now. And the left side's also got this alternate route, so if you wanted to camp up here, you literally have to, like, you, you can hit people down there, but there's a bit of cover, and players can, like, obviously get out a little bit, I guess. I mean, this would be nice if this was inkable right here, but it's not bad. And again, that's all pressure there, and it makes that right side just a bit better, and you're not all camped on this one stack here. So, overall, really good stage changes. This definitely bumps the stage up, like, at least a tier or two. Alright Zones, how is everything changed? Let's have a really look. Nothing much in spawn, as I kind of expected, so we'll just <laughs> go into mid using the flank. Oh, the alternate option to go to mid, let's go. There's nothing much seems to be changed in general. I think that's the only thing that can change the zone. It's not wider, is it? No, is it the same size as it was before? I just want to double check, make sure that there's nothing changed here, but it seems like zone is the same as what it is. That's fine though. So immediately this area has been shrunken down just a little bit and it's still an ink up here which is very bad but at least you have a place the charge can stand easily. You have this block here that you can poke this side from. This area has been changed completely actually. It's no longer an awkward spot here. This has actually been cut away. There's a wall that was cut away here. It's a wee pillow that's gone. And you can now go up here and you can actually defend a bit easier here. 
which is not bad, you know? Because the area is a bit wider here. This, it's like, I think it's actually short. Yeah, it's actually shrunk a little bit, I think. Um, there's more ground up here specifically, and you can still get on this rail. That's pretty nice. Uh, there was no pillow there before, I'm pretty sure. Maybe there was. I can't remember. But I don't think there was a pillow there before. They've made this uninkable, actually. That is a neat change, because now you're forced to go onto this side a little bit. It's not too much of a change, but it at least forces you to go around this side. It takes just a little bit longer. Actually, no, nothing more about it. It's actually really huge. You can now stand up there, and you can pressure this specific spot, so that gives a reason to stand up there, more or less. It also extends great, I think, a little bit as well. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think they extended this out a little bit. Uh, you can come over here, and you can jump down to here, of course. Everything seems to be the same. You can jump to here, and you can pressure the tower like this. Uh, that block's the same. There is this is still here, there's a block here now. Instead of the ramp being here, it's just a block, so that's interesting. But this area also has a removed... Actually, I think, it's, I think this was like this before. I can't remember, but it feels like this was like this before. But now you can jump here, still, what you call jump there. You know what I mean? And of course you go over here. Wait, I just realized they added a third checkpoint. Hold on. This is this is never here before. Hold on. Third checkpoint. Third check. Third check. There's a checkpoint here. Roughly like that's kind of what it was like before. It was like roughly here. There's a checkpoint there. This is pretty damn good. Now you could actually use this spot up here, up there, over here. Like, there's a lot of areas you can pressure this area from. I don't know how much it's gonna change the stage, but I think it's gonna make it some serious changes because now you can actually pressure this area here by standing here or standing up here and like pressuring down the tower there. Or you can stand back there if you're a backliner. You know what I mean. It's good. Like with the tower control, you can stand up here and you can pressure the Rainmaker just a little bit up here. It makes this right a bit more unsafe. And of course, the block's still here. Pretty nice. There's this inkable rail here that's uninkable from all sides. That's pretty cool. This gives you this kind of interesting thing. Oh, I had a feeling you could do that, but no, no. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny if you could jump up there, actually. Did you move the checkpoint a little bit? I think they maybe moved it back a tiny bit. It does feel a bit hard to get to that jump there. I'll try it when I get the remake myself, but we'll see. Left side, remake free zone, of course. They've actually made a pedestal for this. It was, I think it originally just sat in the middle here. Oh, no, it... Tell you what, no, they've just cut away the box, so it's now just a box in the middle of this oh, open this. This makes me feel a lot more open actually. Like, that area's a bit more defendable. Uh they got up there to worry about now. Oops. Uh still there, and now you have I guess you have this area right here. This was like this before. My question is, how far can you shoot your remaker shots from down here? This is a remaker free zone, but I want to try something. You can shoot all over here. Damn. And you can actually use this block now to get up as well. You get a lot more points. That's actually pretty good. You actually made this jump. I don't think you can get the rainmaker, but. You might be able to make it without the Rainmaker. Let me get rid of this real quick. I'm gonna go make this jump and see if it's possible. <sighs> Just not really. Which is actually fine because... Oh wait, no, it's possible! <laughs> okay, so for the, for the precise jump, just by standing on this black line and doing a squid roll. Nah, that's pretty precise, actually. I did make it, but you gotta kinda stand right on the edge. Oh! <laughs> not like that, though. This area, the same as before. I'm glad you can actually jump up there. I actually haven't tried that, but you can jump up here. You've got these boxes, which is the same. This area, back to where it was, like in the tower four zones. It's pretty good. This area is still glass, actually. I guess it's to make it harder to pressure, but it would have been nice to get rid of that. They've had a wee block here. That's neat, so you can kind of throw clams into this. They've actually moved the basket forward. The basket was up here before. They've actually had a block there. They moved the basket forward. That's really interesting. I guess because you now have this left side, it's very easy to hold this pressure point. Because you can now sit up here very easily and very comfortably. And it's difficult to pressure. They've made this... <laughs> my god. They're making like all sorts of origami shapes of this. First you had your original like, box with it with the two pillows and all that. Then you had a wee square with a Rainmaker. And then you had this cuboid. They've actually had a pillow there and a pillow there. Don't know if that was there before. That was definitely there before. Um, you can do this. Yep, pretty easy. Pretty nice. So you can pressure up there, you can pressure from there. Pretty damn good. Alright. I need to see. No. You can't do it. Good. <laughs> I am very glad. I just wanted to be sure. So yeah, that's all Barnacle Down changes. Certainly, something has happened with the stage. It's actually a lot better in many ways. Not perfect. But that's okay, because it's certainly a little bit better. And that's what matters. Okay. <laughs> uh, spawn? Uh, this is weird. They've got rid of that entire pillow. Okay, we'll get over there in a minute. Let's have a look at the spawn. Nothing much has changed. Let's get, <laughs> let's, let's get going. In. This side has an ex a slight extension to this side now. And it's not just a massive high ground. It's actually lower by a little bit, I think. Maybe it's just because further back. It goes into the same kind of ground area. There's a box there. There's this box that was not changed before. There's a block here now. 
Um, I can see a pillow down there. That's pretty good. There's still the sponge that you can get back up, which is pretty good. You can still get back up here, which is nice. They've drastically taken away this entire side, and now it's a block going to this side, which is pretty nice, actually. Gives you nice pressure to this lower ground, which is completely overhauled. Now they've, instead of the pillar and the side going for the grate, now you've got a ramp that goes down, or it's like kind of low ground extension, and it goes to a ramp for more pressure right here. That's a skinny out pillar, <laughs> my god. I spy something with my little eye that is making me very, very, very happy. Before it would end here, now it's ground, and you can just go into mid. Oh my god, obviously can't get back and all that, but that's completely fine. Maybe I could sponge it with nice, like maybe right here. But you know what, I'm completely fine with that, with that really, because now you can get into mid, you can pressure on the side. <laughs> I'm so I'm so exhilarated. Um, they didn't change much about this block here. I thought they would add something to it here, but no, they didn't do anything with it. I think they gave me more ground with this as well because they've shrunk it down. Or maybe it's because of the new left side. Before it would end here, now you can go all the way down here and you can get intimate just by going down like so. You've got some blocks for defense. You can go over here and you can do pressure in mid mode. And what's even better than a block being right there? A sponge. <laughs> Meaning you can defend here! And because of that pillar being shrunk back as well, like, look at the difference. This was this was it before, and this is how what you had before. You've got this entire section there, which is magnificent. Oh my god, how my head bridge is actually playable on some modes. I'm not too sure about the modes, but I'm gonna check it really soon. And by really soon, I mean right now. Let's get on to the zones and just see what stuff has been changed. Spawn, more or less the same. You still got this area, you still got the blocks there and all that. That's pretty neat. Left side looks to be more or less unchanged, all the way over here. I want to see though, can you actually... You can kind of paint the zone a little bit from here as well, look at that. You paint a little bit here, that's nice. I want to see, can you pressure the zone from here? You can, look at that! Both that side and that side combined, you can paint about this much of the zone, which is not a bad amount actually, considering that you're going to be standing here as well. This is pretty good. They've also moved the sponge, or the pillow that was here, a bit forward. Unless there was no pillar here first. I don't think there's there a pillar here in the first place, actually. For a zone specifically. Oh, this actually feels so good seeing how much get changed. I am so glad this is getting changed. We're not done yet. We need to go and see the other modes, because this was petty. Let's go and see what Tower Control has to offer. So before Tower Control was very notorious for being very steamrolly. That is a pole. It's not touching the ceiling. This stage has got a pull. This has also got a pull update. Block on the left side's the same here. You can you now have this spot right here where you can just kind of stand and pressure here. It's so much flatter now. You can actually like pressure the tower by standing here. Um, you also have here where you can just snipe with charges as well. And of course, the left side's still the same. Oh, it's actually trunking. Interesting, they've taken this away a little bit, and you have more ground. I think it's probably, it's probably just me. This is the same as well before, pretty sure. Now you can stand here, and of course, like I said before, you can go ahead and pressure the tower. Not bad. So a little bit high ground. You can get shot from up there now. There's more pressure from that side. It's a lot more like open on the tower. Still, this is covered from the left side, but even then, tower control not looking too different. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be changed too much or make it much better, but it's certainly gonna be made better. Of, like even just this extension right here, you can now snipe the tower from all the way back. There. Like e leader or a splat charger there, a hydra up here. So yeah, that's tower control. Let's see what Raymaker has all for now. I don't see any double checkpoints, which is not good, but. I'll, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what's going on. Still, this massive pole. They've also cut with this back section. So they've made this area very tight to get up here, so they've actually forced it into more one route, which is interesting. I thought they would have made this a dub uh, way to get up this way, but no, I guess not. Which really beckons the question: What's still the purpose of going over here? You can now go over here with the Rainmaker, and you can pressure up here like so. The Rainmaker is actually pushed way left side, more or less. Like this is very encouraged to go this direction, and it's very obvious. Like, it goes to the ramp to here, and you can go straight to the Rainmaker shot because right here, in this corner. One Rainmaker, one Rainmaker shot can clear that. If the enemy is rotating back around and you're trying to, like, take back position, the enemy's gonna be over there and you can get all the way here and you can rotate all the way over here now. Which, admittedly, they do add a pillow here, I think. I think this was something that wasn't here before. They add a pillow here, which makes it a bit easier to take back. I would have liked it if they made it, like, another route to get down to mid and back up. Alright. And now for the final mode. This right side's here before, like, one well, is with the other modes, and you can pressure here. Has this been. This wall's been taken away, I think. Because this wall's been taken away. That, or I'm thinking back to an older patch. Left side, likewise, nothing different. Still ways to make this a little bit different. But now, if you wanted to, you can go over here, you can break like this. And then you can go ahead and pressure like this. The so hammerhead is overall not too shabby on some modes. Something like. Zones certainly is gonna be better with how it's been fixed. It was already probably one of the better modes out of them. 
but it was certainly still like kind of iffy with the fact that you had to start all the way back at your spawn. But now with the extra roots, it might be a bit better to get into middle, which is pretty good. So that's the reworks for the main two that have been stated. But there's a lot more changes going across many stages. So let's quickly speed run through them and have a look at them. Museum, you're up first to the selection. There's already a sponge down here. This is already a good improvement because now you can jump up here. Is this side different? This side's very different actually. So before you would have like a way you can just jump down here and you can just climb down here if you wanted to. And this would all this would be all you'd get with like an, a wall going to like right about there. Now you've got more ground extended out here. A block to jump up here. A ramp with a pillow. Likewise, I think that's most of the changes that have been done with it. It was mainly just that right side extension. Not a bad change. It makes it just a little bit alright. But it probably doesn't change it too much in this mode though. In the past ones, I said there was going to be a pretty big change for the spinners in the middle and I will have to have a look at that. Bunch still here. Likewise, I expected this. And in middle... Oh. Oh. Okay. This area now has a weak block and it has a ramp instead of just kind of cutting off at that back section right there. So now you can go up here, you can jump up here. Oops, up. You can jump up here. They've made this a slight extension here. So now you can actually paint the zone a bit easier from right here. Obviously you can still get a shot from there, but you can still kind of safely paint without being shot like this if you're an alpha form. They have made the back of these paintable. My God, you can actually get into the middle like this. Now, I thought it was just glass blocks. I was like, okay, it's just glass blocks, that's nice. No, you now have cover to stand like this and you can now peek over like this. Not only that though, but when the spinner is locked like this, when it's passing by, you can now have a safe place to jump like this. And it also acts as cover. You can use it as like cover like this. That's pretty neat. And of course, down here, you've got some weak blocks for extension as well. So you can jump up here if you want to. Hold on. This would be brilliant. Please, Nintendo. Please. Oh, yes! Oh, brilliant. Not much else to say about it. It's just good. Actually, it's more than just good because it gives you a very interesting kind of change to it. But it's certainly all right. So this block has been changed to a block. <laughs> this was a I'm pretty sure this was a sponge before, made an inkable block, which is interesting to say at least. So they've added this wee block here, which you can now use to pressure instead of being a pillow. Speaking of pillow, they've moved it down there and they've made it wider. They've added this wee thing that was in Clambos. They had the block that was in Clambos here, which is interesting. It gives you a bit more cover, I guess, to hold against the... Yeah, it gives you more cover. It gives you more cover against the tower. Either way, that's the last of the tower control changes that I can notice. Which ain't bad. It's still some changes, and they're still alright. Nothing bad has been done necessarily to the stage, which is a good thing, because this is already an already stage in some modes. Remaker! Hello! Oh no, I see what's done to it. This area, still the same. You've got that block that was there before, so nothing much has been changed on this side. <laughs> and then the middle! Oh wow. So likewise with this, you have the wee flat section, but now you've got... Very... Interestingly shaped ramp. I guess it gives you high ground and makes it a bit easier to pressure because it can be a bit rough running up this direction and jumping to it. Because now, if I get the Rainmaker, I can just break like this, it's like one tap, not even, and just jump. It makes it very easy to break now. You can probably do it without even painting it, so that's pretty cool. That's kind of that. Okay, Rainmaker, not bad. Alright, Glamlet, let's see what you have to offer. Was there. No, this was. I swear there was a block here that was four. Maybe I'm misremembering it, but I feel like there was a block here before. They made this all in and I'll say. This is still jumpable. They've added a wee block here for a bit more cover, I guess. A splatling, or just run with the splatling, or using umbrella. Like, you just jump up here now. I think that's literally it. <laughs> I think that's all the major changes that are done for the stage. So yeah, museum, again, improved in many good ways. <laughs> oh my god, man. Already, spawn, looking good. They've actually made some high ground, which you cannot contest. This was a tiny block of paper before, but now you can go all the way over here and you can pressure this left side. Oh my god, this is so different. So now you have this area which you can pressure here, which is pretty good. And a tall sponge to get back. So you still have this high ground to pressure from, which is pretty alright. And of course the left side's the same. They've had this wee block here. Fresh pressure, which is pretty nice. This um, section here has been extended just a little bit, I'm pretty sure. And they've also added a grate with a block for pressure. They've added the block here that was on other modes before. There, which is pretty good. They've had, they've made this a three stack like on bottom one time. Down here, you have the rail likewise that was on it before, which is pretty good. But now you have this extension to the wall, which allows you to go up here. They've changed the ramp that was here to, of course, like the wall, and they've made this like this. So now you can do this. You can get back over here. You can defend right behind this wall. And on the right side, this block's been moved forward just a tiny bit. They've actually made this 
a cutie. Guess a cutie like cubby hole. They've extended this area of the gray and pushed it over here with we stack right here. Um, they've also fixed this tarp area a little bit, I think. And they've added another ink rail going all the way over to here. Pretty damn big. That's a really good change. There is now another inkable wall in mid that is on both sides with both this wee block here to jump up if you want to as well. Or like poke around the right side and all that. This, you still have this section here as well, which is good. This is what we wanted. This is what old Mahi, or old Umami, base Umami from the, the first trailer was like. I've got to mention as well, there's also this wee block here likewise with I don't think it's on mode. It's not really on a mode. You can just use it as a, as a fence. It's a nice change. This is actually looking pretty good now. I like it. So right off the bat, nothing's been changed to spawn too much. I just didn't know if there was ink on the back. Left side looks like we've seen. You've got the ink rail there. You've also got the ink rail all the way over here. So now you can pressure into mid. Which, speaking of mid, they've changed the zones. They've also made this um, section different as well. They made it uninkable at all. That we can't jump to there. Obviously, they've also added a way or we. They've changed the section to be a lot taller. Is that? Now I can just casually cap the zone like this. Yeah, there's a wee block here for like, I guess for like splatlings and all that, which is pretty good. Um, it also means that you don't have to just stand here and get exposed like that. You can go over here and you can poke up here. You now have the <laughs> the Marlin Airport block in the middle of a mommy ruins. This is actually very interesting. It's it's unique terrain. I don't think it's bad by anything. But it's just very interesting. It's a lot smaller, I'll say that though. I mean, they've probably made them like, no, they've made them smaller. Because before it would go all the way back to here. I wouldn't go. It would still go out to here, but now it's tiny zones, man. What is this? This might be as small as Undertow Spellway. I'm not entirely sure. They've also added a wee uh, block to this stack section back here. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. They've added this wee section here, so more pressure here. Like before, people would say that Umami was like better than Crab Leg and um, what's his name? And Ship Shape. Ship Shape, I can't stand. Crab Leg, I do not. But I understand why you would want to put it above it now. This is actually pretty good. They did change this block here, actually. They added this here, and they've made it... Yeah, they just made it We block here. Cool. Straight off the bat, this area doesn't have its sponge. That's a big downside. But you do have a little more ground here, I think. Oh, wait, they've actually changed this. There's no ramp here now. They've made this an uneven wall, wall. You can jump up like this with this block instead. Which actually makes it harder to pressure up here, which is good. This, again, that does make a bit of compensation, so now you can actually pressure this area and stop them from running up here very easily. That wall's still there with the ramp, the old ramp being here, going up like, all the way up the top here. They've added a wee block up here, and they've made this, they've pushed this further back, so that's interesting. They've also moved this out. This block was over here before, and the pillows were further forward. Actually, there was no pillow. This block was here. But no, they've added this wee extension here, and now you have, like, a few ways you can get out easily. And it's a bit more ground for the upper section. This area is still here, which is really nice. Just more cover. Can't go wrong with that. This block is still here. Uh, the grate goes all the way over here, which I do kind of wish they made the grate a bit smaller. But you can jump from the rail. If I jump back to spot quickly, you want to go right side. You run all the way down here, and then you can just jump all the way down here like so, which is not bad. It certainly is the way you can get around, and it's actually pretty hard to pressure if you're not ready for it. I'd say this middle section right here, the grate, you can go all over here and you can flank behind the enemy. Yeah, sad these walls aren't here in other modes so far, but we'll have to see what they do with that. Of course, you still have this jump you can make over here. Easy as it is. It's a bit harder to pressure now because you've got more ground, but it's still alright. You've also got a new jump here. So this we block here. You can just jump, you can just walk to this grade now, which is interesting. You can jump back to here. That would be pretty good if you can jump back to here, but I guess I guess they didn't want to like make it too broken. And then we get over here. Instead of just going over here and steamrolling to the end, you do have some points of pressure. You've got exhibits uh, A, B, C, D. If you're very far back, would have kind of liked if they pushed it a bit further in, like right here. But that's not bad. I can just stand here and pressure. I can go over here. I can pressure. Or if I really wanted to, I can go over here. I can pressure. But yeah. Umami Ruins! Tower Control, pretty okay now. Let's hope it really is fine, because it looks good, but only time will tell. Left side's still the same, you've got that massive upper section, which you can pressure with the chargers. You, it's not actually that beneficial because this ramp here, got a bit more ground here, I'm pretty sure. The ramp's actually shortened a little bit, it'll go back to here, I'm pretty sure, but it's actually like pushing a bit further back, so that's, I guess it's good. And you do have this block here to get up here as well, if you want to, just a little quicker. Left side, you've got an inkable block now, that's actually pretty cool how they made an inkable. Maybe it wasn't good before, but I don't think it was. They've made this now jumpable just by walking onto it. That's pretty cool. 
this is interesting. So no. The man of Sir Spawn! Oh, Sir, you've been remembered by the damn team for once and not forgotten! You can also just jump over here and you can pressure with the left side now. You can also just jump up like this if you wanted to. That's a nitpick right there, but okay. And you can just jump back over here with this block. And you can pressure very easily. This allows you to pressure a bit further in. They've added a block here, I'm pretty sure. I think this block was before. Maybe it was a pillow. I think it was a pillow more. I can't remember. But they've made this a bit different. They've made this block different. They've actually made it a bit wider. They've Hold it a little bit closer, I think. They've also made jumpable as well, so if you hold the Rainmaker and charge in a shot, you can do that. And of course, you still have the extended section back here, so you can actually pressure this area a little bit. You've actually got a two hype on it. This wasn't like this before, so this one changed a little bit. And of course, the rail. I just like using the rail. You go over here. Now you're getting pressured from, like, obviously up there before. You can now get flanked on, like I said before. You've got more areas of pressure here. You've got here to worry about, here to worry about. You can go and pressure up here a bit easier with the rail if you wanted to. So if you're standing up here at the very edge, you're like 44 points. Jump up here will put you no more than 30 points. So there's literally no reason to take this route still. It's very slow. But when you can just run down to the left here and then just run here safely. You can do this alternate path as well if you wanted to, but it's not much different. And then you just kind of end. Go over here, you've got some spots here to stand. You can actually brush behind the basket now. So they've lowered the basket down a little bit. Before it would be pretty high up and it was actually a bit further back. That block has been moved from like right here to right here. So that gives you a bit of a pressure point right here. Also, we jump, which is all right. I wonder. <gasps> oh, that's a wee, <laughs> that's a neat jump. Okay, useless, but that's funny. They've also extended this grate by a little bit, um, fixing this area up. Or maybe they haven't. No, they just cut this wall away, I think, actually. No, no, they've actually cut away this wall here. They've actually made it just easy to go like this, and just running like that. So that's not bad. And they finally had this wall back, so you can actually jump up here now. Let's go. This rail, which interestingly enough, you go straight to the floor, which is interesting, because then you can just swim onto it. I've never, we've never seen a rail like that that goes straight to the floor and you can just kind of ledge snap and then, okay, I did a pretty bad ledge snap, but you get point. You can just ledge snap, get to the rail, and then just jump to the block. I'm pretty sure that's what that block's there for. Like, even if you got a surge, it's a good roll. Yeah. I'm really think it's possible, unfortunately. Nah, I'm not even close. <laughs> that slight race section just makes it impossible, pretty sure. Yeah, not much does change about this. You still have your, your search spot. And yeah, it's pretty neat. Overall, Umami Ruins does have some improvements, especially in the spawn. Like, oh, so far, the spawns have been pretty good improvements, just in general. Wider, more high ground that's impossible to reach for the enemy. I'm gonna have to just see how time will tell, but I'm pretty sure this means the stage actually looks good now. Brian Water Springs. What has been changed to you? This has been made to a stone pillar, which is very interesting. That's a new block there. Pretty cool. That sponge is still there. Ah, the amazing goal. No. But they have given more ground here, so it does give you a, a way to extend. Like, they've made it They've made it so you can go all the way over here now, but I still don't like how they just not made that a one-way job. Like, what's the... Aw, oh, man. You know? It's still good. I still like this extension, though. It makes it very easy to get around here. There's also a wee box here, which gives you a bit more cover. Instead of just standing out in the open. Pretty nice. We two sides pull from. They've made this block a crate now. Now on the side roads. Oh my god, I think they just changed the trees. These trees look very different. You've got this massive panel here. You've got these huge blocks here. A block here to jump from. And squid roll over on top. And I'm pretty sure you can also. You can definitely make that out of that. Okay, you need to go pretty high for it, but it's still possible. This block here is completely incomplete from all sides. It gives you cover. This extension, like, entire extension right here gives you so much more room instead of being crammed to just this tiny area, which is neat. <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, what's the purpose of this? Wait, what? I guess you can just go up here and sneak if you wanted to, like, catch someone out going down the right side. I don't really know what to say about that, but either way, you have, like, the wee block that was on some modes that does this, plus a wee extension to it. Well, I need to see, though. No, you can't get out of bounds. I don't think it's possible to make this jump, unfortunately, but it's very, very close. It's just barely too tall. Okay, so Brian Water's been changed. <laughs> Solid the mounts. That left side could have certainly been wider. Or sorry, the right side could have been wider and made it a bit easier. If you really wanted to and you make the right jump, you can jump from back there. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I am in an already position to use this cover. Still can't wish you could get back up here, or get back up there, because there's no reason to not be the case. But hey. I guess I can take what I can get. Comes at the right side the same as what it was before, so that's interesting. Not much change there. This has a weak extension. It's now got it's now too high. Zone is much bigger, I'm pretty sure. I think zone is like the exact same size as what it was before, so it's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, that's 
Cannibal zones has to offer. You can make, it's a bit easier to pressure from this point now. Instead of being standing out in the open like this, you can stand like behind this block and paint like this. You still have this massive flank where you can drop down to very comfortably. But you know it's whatever. Still don't understand the purpose of this wall. What is your purpose? Okay, so nothing much has been changed about the tower path. I'm not liking it too much, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's see what happens. Um horrid. This is not good, actually. You're very exposed and there's, like, you can't really right side peek. I guess you can make this jump if you wanted to, but really, you're on grade. Like, what point is that, really? They've also moved this closer, actually. Instead of being out here, they move it closer. They've taken away the blocks on this lower side, so you can't get up there now. And now you have these weird three blocks for pressuring down here. What the heck is this for? I mean, if you're shorting, I guess, but, like, what? And what is the purpose? You do have this block to help pressure, but it's still kind of... I guess it's fine. I guess it lets you to pressure easily, but you're never gonna be. You have to go that. Uh, okay. The only major change or change with this, I would say, the extension and the, is that block change. And I guess you just stand right here. Not much to say really about this. Actually, no. They made this higher by a little bit. They made it taller. They also made the sponge tall. I need to check that out. I think it's one actually. Yeah, it just kind of lets you go up here. So I guess that's fine. Yeah, but it's not changed too much. Let's just get on to the Remaker and see if that's changed. What has been changed? Oh my god, I'm yawning. There is a ramp extension here. This is a block now. There is a hall. They've had some more blocks here to pressure. And they've made this area. This, okay, this glass is pretty good. They've made this ramp smaller. And they've also moved the Remaker from, or the checkpoint from there. Like It was like over here before with the ramp going to it. This here. They've moved this here now. And I think they've also changed this block to the ramp. So this game, this game switched things around a little bit. There's a wee small extension there, a wee cubby hole. That's neat. That's pretty neat. Um, likewise, same here. You can just do that. It's painful on the sides. Yeah, it's painful. They've also had a wee block extension to this here, I'm pretty sure. As by this <laughs> indication by the block. Um, they've still got this weird thing here. Put a charge up here, I guess you can now. But it's probably not much. Actually, no, it's a bit better than this, I think. I think you can alternate between them, but I think it's better just to stand up there still. You do have a block here, which you can now jump up to if you wanted to. Which is pretty good. So that's something. More cover, and it is only from it's only accessible from this back side. So it's more it's very much indicated to use for right side flanking. Still break away with one shot. Again, the high ground there is good, but just by the fact like I can just very much do this in pressure very easily. But I just wanted to make a just make a wall there, like ex like move the section back a little bit and just add a ramp. I don't even know, just add a ramp somewhere. You can stand here for a bit easier thing, I guess. Just need. There's also a weird texture change there. Well, that's all about. Um, again, same here. You do have this as a bit of a time for pressure. You can make it a bit easier pressure. And yeah, just get just get up here. So yeah, not much has been changed. But I still wish they added like a way to fix that and made that left side a bit, or right, right side a bit better. I still don't understand what the purpose of this was. And finally is clam blitz. Oh no, they've done it again, haven't they? They've done it. No, Nintendo, we can't peek here. Why do you do this? Yeah, it really hasn't been changed much other than the extension there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I my mouth. They've completely changed the middle. There's no longer a block your middle, but rather very unique terrain. I like this terrain. It's very interesting. The rail, thankfully, is still here. This is a good change to made this here. See, that's the only purpose to stand up there is to shoot down that rail. I guess it allows you to hide back there, but even then, like, so would you be able to do that if you went in for or swim for? The right side still is very bad in many places. It's better with that extension, like going down from there, but just it could have been better. I'm not even going to mention it. Let's go to the next stage. So far, spawn is kind of the same. Left side looks to be, again, the same. Oh, I missed that. Okay, never mind. I see some changes on the right side. You do have a weak great section to pressure as well. So if you're a splatling or just wanting to move up here, you can come up here as well. And I guess you can fall back down here for a tree. Oh, they've had some ramps for the middle. Um, we'll get to that in a second. They've changed these blocks a little bit. They've added a bit more cover with it. They've extended this out a little bit. I think they might have raised it a little bit. Maybe it was always four. You still have the wall here. This is roughly the same. Don't think much has been changed about it outside of this wee block here, which does make it a bit easier pressure on me, so can't complain about that. So this is alright because it allows you to get around here and it does give you some more unique paths to run around instead of just going straight up. One of the main problems with the stage was that you couldn't really get in, or, or sorry, you couldn't really get out. That's not got a way out, this has not got a way out, no way out there. This is the only way you can get out using the grades. Let's just say I'm playing a match and I'm getting pressured. I want to get out of the stage, so oh god, I'm going away. That's like a solid, like three seconds of just crossing the grate, which is a lot of time to expose. But with the block change there, 
it does make it a bit faster. It does make it a bit precise to jump across the whole thing if you want to do this. But it does make it a little bit faster. Cuts off like a second probably at most. Certainly it's better, but we, it would have been good to have like a small extension there with more pressure down there. Maybe a ramp that goes into there. I don't know. Like something over there. Even just a sponge down there. A single sponge. That ramp's still there. Or that great section's still there. Lock's still there. There's a wee great extension right here actually. That's alright for snipers and splatlings. They have gotten rid of the blocks. And they've instead moved them. I think this was also in the turf area, but they've moved that there as well. The thing is, they put them on this side as well, so you couldn't jump over there. I'm confident in the fact that you, if they were right, right here, you can jump over there. Let's just jump on the edge of the grate like this. Maybe. It could have been possible, perhaps. The zone hasn't been changed too much. In fact, it's probably still the same with how it's been changed. I guess you can stand up there, but it's further back, and it's... Mm. Let's just get on to tower control. Uh, block here for right side peak, that's fine. Uh, this block is still here, so that's cool. This used to be a surge spot for going up on top of here. Uh, I'll do it again. You can get on top of this section right here. Yeah, like that. You can just surge on top of this like this. But now you can stand back here and you can just pressure and you can just jump over here in general. So it's kind of lost its faith with that surge spot, but you know what? A little great there to do some right side peeking is fine. You can just always drop down here for more cover and you can just jump over here. So I guess it's alright. Nothing much changed here. Wall still inkable. Blocks down here are gone. Everything's still in order here. So, not too much has been changed with this. Well, there's been a few changes. I keep saying there's not been much. There's obviously been a few changes, but it's not, not anything, nothing groundbreaking. When I say it, I mean there's nothing groundbreaking. On the left side, you've got that box there. You've got the same terrain. There's a new box here. I think that might have been there before. They've taken away this pillow here, actually, and they replaced it with a block here, which is interesting. You can't get up there, which is fair enough. That'll be a bit broken if you can get up there. The right side grate's still here, the box. This area has the same ramp. That box is gone. There's a new box here. Which gives you a bit more cover, which is neat. And of course, you can't make a jump there. You run in this direction. You can use this as a bit of cover, I guess. You can run between them with this. So it has kind of a, what's the word, Roboramon-esque style to it with Raymaker. Uh, that box, that box is new, actually. You can still squibble up here, but they add the box there to make it a bit harder. I don't think there's much more to say about it. I think Scorch is just kind of the same as what it is. That grate's the same there. The baskets? Is the basket moving back a tiny bit? I think it's been moving back a tiny bit. It feels like it. I mean, we slight extension here, so a bit more high ground. I mean, don't underestimate this box. Maybe it's pretty good to go this direction. They've had the ramp back, so that's pretty good. And yeah, that's kind of it. Just extend this a little bit more to the side. And add a block. You know, just add a block would be good here. Like, raise the basket a little bit, put a block underneath it. I'm not too sure. If you want to defend this basket, you really need to be over here. If you're back here, you're not going to defend it. You need to go, like, all the way over here. And that grid doesn't really help too much unless you're. I, mean, I guess if you're a charger, you just get closer. Scorch, it's still kind of in the same position. Maybe better on some modes in some places, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll need to see with time. It's one of these things we need to see with time. Please tell me you're actually good. I am praying. Spawn, kind of the same. Short. That's not much we care about. This thing is the same. I don't like it, this is not extended. There's a block there. It didn't remove my jump. Hang on, I wanna try something. Okay, no. I'm not gonna get this. Oh, never mind. There you go. I know my jumps. You see? Um, yeah, you still cannot really pressure this side. This side's still horrible. That side's still horrible. Please tell me this is inkable. It looks inkable. Please tell me it's not from this side. It isn't from this side. But it is on this side. No longer are you at least stuck to defending the bridge and then backing out here. And if you fall down, it's a freebie getting in. You can fall down here and you can go down here if you wanted to. Then you can flank back around the enemy. You go up and you can defend. And you can do it very easily. Then you can push up even further. At the very least, that's good. If you really wanted to mix them up, I really wish they made it a bit more prominent if this is what they were really going for. But like, to get underneath the bridge, I guess? Instead of being stuck down here on low ground, you can then go up here and you can flank. But the thing is, and this is the biggest problem, you have to get past bridge. Which is not good, Nintendo. It's an improvement, it's made it just a tiny bit better, but the problem still remains that bridge can contest every area. You can rotate from here to here and back so easily. I really want to hope that this isn't the end of the patch notes. Or if it is the end of the patch notes that we get a small buff of this. I'm getting good with the jump actually. Yeah. Let's get onto the right modes and see if anything's changed. Uh, that block's there. Uh, bridge. 
isn't changed. Still can't pressure out the They made this backside inkable, I think. I don't know exactly, but this isn't really enough, man. You're still forced to go through the tiny butthole of the stage. I'm not even gonna say anything more. I do not notice any good changes to this. Nothing seems to be changed so far. Let's hope that is not the case. That, there's a wee block there for getting up top of there, so I guess that allows you to make the jump for like splatlings. I guess it's good for pressuring this section if you want to, so instead of being stuck here or down low ground, you can pressure it up there instead. So I guess it's nice. Against likewise with this, you can jump up here. They've made these blocks here jumpable as well. It's not too much more. Still, they still put the checkpoint here. If you're splatting, you can go up here. You can just go like and you can press the tower without being caught up up there. Then you can just jump up the tower here. So uh, maybe Rainmaker is a bit better. They've had the boxes there. There's no box there. There's a wall. Was that wall was there? That black box. I'm pretty sure it was. I guess the, this is a is this box new? I don't even know, man. I know this is new. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't even, I don't even know this point. Maybe Clamblitz is a little better? Maybe? Clamblitz, Clamblitz, Clamblitz. There's boxes here for splatling. That box is maybe a bit different. I'm not too sure. That box is there. I guess this is good here for like, poking right side, but I oh, deal pressure. I don't know, man. These boxes are slightly differently colored. Like, I don't know what to say for this stage, man. It's just... It's got nothing really, man. Like, you have a block there, you've got a block there. Like, just extension, a bit of cover. That, and then maybe, like, extend that low ground to go behind there just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Let's just leave ETL alone, shall we? I can already see a change. There is a huge box here. Instead of being a spun. More ground here to pressure, that's not bad. Uh, there's a wall here? Was this always different? I think there was a different color before. That's different terrain. Interesting. I had a pillow in the middle of here. People from all sides, because why not? Uh, the flank. More or less the same. You do have some cover down here, and you can jump on all sides. Likewise, I expected. And then from the middle, you have another mini. <laughs> For, uh, another mini, what's my god, another mini Arlen, Marlin Airport block. Oh wait, there we go, there's a box here, you can jump up here now! Oh, that's nice! I mean, it's not gonna do too much, but I guess, like, you can go boom with a charger, or you can stand with a splatling, and you can shoot over this wall, actually, like, I'm shooting pretty damn far, actually. Can you make the jump block, or the block, the jumps to the block, so... Maybe even a lower one, I'm trying. Nah, some minor changes, like what I was said. Nothing much more to say about it. I think that's pretty funny though. You can only get on here on tower control, so this is nice having the block here. Alright, zones. I don't expect much, but let's have a look. Block's the same. Pillow's the same. Block's the same. This block here's the same. So you can get up here and you can pressure pretty far over here now. This is actually not a bad spot to pressure from. You can't have risk reward because you can't really paint here. You can right side peek a bit easier, I guess. You can jump over the wall. You can also go up here. So that's not bad. Nothing much to say about it. Let's speed run on to the next one. Uh, block's gone. That's interesting, but you do have a sponge here still, which is fine. And it makes sense because you can jump up here with the tower, so that's understandable. Hello, <laughs> still there. That's pretty funny how the pillow's just sitting ominously in the middle of it. Ooh, hello. They've cleared this area out. Uh, they've added a pillow here for more cover, so that's nice. Uh, they removed the block there, unfortunately. It's kind of sad. I like that block. But then again, you do have the tower, which makes a jump, like I, likewise I said before. This whole chunk just sitting in the middle now. Interesting. Very much high ground. Given the high ground pressure, the tower is actually pretty good. Of course, you get a tower, you can make this jump here, or you can just run down to the ground here. Nothing much more to say about it. Hagglefish is safe from bad changes. Again, block, gone, made the sponge still there. Sponge is still there. That wall is still there. Um, hill, hill still there. Block's there. No block there. Big L. Bye. <laughs> so yeah, not too many changes from this. It was minor changes, so not too much to really go on about. Uh, did you just block a little bit? Mm, no. This block's all the same. Sponge is there. Um, there's an interesting bit of terrain here instead of a pillow. This is a bit, pretty sure there was a pillow here before, but there was nothing. But now you've got this uninkle pole with a very interesting block. This gives you a bit of cover and makes it a bit easier pressure up here. The wall's still here. You have these wee block pieces, the wee terrain here. You've got this box, which I think he was here before, I can't remember. And then, of course, the ball, likewise. So yeah, Agglevish got some changes. Nothing too bad. It's already an okay stage in most modes, so can't say much has been too much change about it. It's already pretty fine. This wall is new. 
This entire wall was never here before, and of course, I guess it gives cover of high ground pressure. There is an extra grey here, which is pretty neat. Uh, there's a lot of new greys, actually. That's new, that's new, that's new. They're taking a lot of inspiration from the tricolor, it seems. I'll try. No. But you can stand down below here now, and you can do a bit of pressure back here, or you can fall back. So instead of being forced to go up on the top of the wall like you did before, you can go to this section right here, and you can have sneakily get some charger picks, so you can throw some bombs like this. And you can sit on the wall and chill. Maybe it looks the same. Any changes to the walls? No. Okay, Flounder! Smart changes. Don't think there's much more to say about specifically turf. The grates the same on the left side. They took away the wall that was up here. They've kept the rail here and they've added the grates that were here. That's pretty neat. You can go down here and there. You can walk over to here and you can still the pressure. And yeah, that's kind of it. So, not much to say. Don't turn off the same size. You can still paint them very easily. Grates always here. I pretty much would not expect them to take them out. Uh, they've changed the rail lamp. They've lowered the rail down, instead of going up, it goes down a little bit. Looking at which they made this section a bit easier to pressure with, but... Well, actually, they've added a grate here, so you can go up here and you can stand here and wait for them to come over here. So actually, this is not worthy. This is actually not, this is actually not bad. It's still low ground, but it's at least fightable ground, instead of being this wee thin platform with no way to go around. And yeah, that's basically it. You just finish, you just go down to the end of the goal, and you make it. So that area is still paintable, that box is still there. Is it glass there now? I think that's been changed to glass a little bit actually. Uh, you still have that low to high rail. The great stuff. This, this is actually not bad because you can pressure the Raymaker very easily here. You can still make the right side path if you want to, but now if you wanted to, don't know why you would, but you can just walk onto it. I don't think there's much more to say about this. Minor changes, minor things to go over. And then Clan Blitz, let's speedrun this. You've got the great over there, you've got the rail and the great here. Pretty awesome. You've got a pretty far rail as we can get up here now. Gray is still back there. I've mentioned those greats already. And yeah, you just that's basically it. Pretty neat. Let's move on. This is the same as was before. This is also the same. Sponge is still here. This block, by the looks of it, that block is new. That might be moved into the middle. I think that was always there. There is an extra block on the f on the thing actually. There's this here, so you can jump over here now, and you can use this block as a bit of cover. I'm pretty sure this block here is new. That or I misremember it, but I'm pretty sure this block wasn't here. So that's cool. And they've also added a wee tiny dinky like cube here. This block gives more pressure. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's go into the zones and see what things different. Block still here. That up it. That section is the same. Zone is still cheesable because of course it is. Maybe I might be wrong a little bit. But I think I am. You're still here, you're still here. Alright, moving on to tower control. Just want to get through this quickly because I'm pretty much expect to be the same. So we block right here for defense, which isn't going to do too much, but I guess it's a stop enemies that pushing ahead of tower. There is a wee block there, so we have the chargers and other weapons to the right side peak there. This, and we have that far one back there. And then I think that's all the major changes. I only just realized how far away the checkpoints are. Like, here's checkpoint one, here's checkpoint two. Pretty far away. Not too much to say. I don't think I'm to think I have to finish it actually. Yeah. We're not gonna finish this one with the tower path. Let's just get on to the next mode. So the block that you have here on the other modes. Like zones and turf. Um this is the same as was before, you get the way make it get the thing up, which kinda sucks. That block there, is still there. That's still there, of course. Well that that's still that's a new thing still there. That's the old thing still there. There's one thing I wanna do though, it's just a funny thing. I've always wanted to do this with the stage. I wanna see the path there. <laughs> Some things never change, don't they? Platform block, big cube, and the small blocks that are on the side. I think that's literally it for all the modes though. Pretty sure there's no changes to the turbines. It's like this is the same. Oh wow! Oh never mind. Huge pillar. <laughs> this is a funny spot to stand in. I think that's all changes for Marlin. I can really note down. Maybe I'm wrong and that cube wasn't there before, but I don't know, boat looks to be the same roughly. Is the rail the same? Rail is the same. I, oh my god, I missed this. They've got a huge cube here. So there's this lower ground that you can just jump down for defense and just poke over. There's a wee block there for things like splatlings. Like I said before, you can just jump up on shitting. This pillar here is new, there's a bit more cover here. Uh yeah, that's fine. Let us get on to the right modes. This block is still here. Block's still here. And what else was there? I think that was everything. There's a pillar still there as well. Okay. That's fine. Let's right, move on to tower control. Tower control now has this weird crate thing instead of a block. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so there's not much else to talk about. 
Again, the same. Pedestal looks to be in the same position, I think. Maybe it's a bit close to the right? I think it's the same position. If I had a wee block here, this box is still here. In a different colour, of course. No thing here. Rainbow Crystal awkwardly on the floor. And you have a checkpoint jump there. Actually, they did make that inkable, because that used to be an un uninkable block. And yeah, it's pretty much the same standard issue. You go over here and you get up. There is no block here whatsoever. There is the same block here that was just like that. Bamboo still has the block here. It's fine. Okay, that's this stage done. Let's go into the final two stages. Immediately, I can see one of the changes. Turf, we've been giving some blocks to this. Pretty neat. They've made this box a bit thicker, and you can air climb on top of it. They've added a wee block here for pressure, just to cover this nice little box in the middle, which I'll check out in a second. They've added a hole, and of course you have these angle blocks on one side that do actually maybe allow you... No, you don't have to get up there. Unfortunate. They're just going to make it a bit easier with the fence. That's fine. I'm pretty sure this box in the middle was also widened a little bit. Crap like turf war. We're going to get those zones right now. Let's see what change is done for it. All right, zones. Let's do 20 second speed run. There's blocks there. Uh, there is a addition to the block. There's a block there. There's this thing here. There's the, the terrain there. There's the pole over here. Nice to see that. Um, this cube is still the same. These blocks, I think that they were before, but I can't remember exactly. And the zone is pretty much the same size. Now I have this block here in the middle. Done. I don't think there's much more to say about crab like a crab roll. It's just like, this thing is already good. That's a little going for it. Just some small, small things to make it better. Blue Fin Depot. Got some minor changes. Only on clam blitz, though. So let's have a look and see what can change. That pole's still the same. That was there before. They've extended this thing out a little bit, I'm pretty sure. Or well, they just changed, I think they just changed how this looks. Yeah, because this is like a weird unlinkable, or weird like, patch that is out there. They've changed the color of this. It's just a lot of texture changes for this. Because this is now a crate with an unlinkable block. So again, like, friendly to weapons that require jumping while firing. Still have a block here in the middle, the unlinkable there. Oh! Oh! Wait, what? No, 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 no. What? Down the rail? Oh, no, that is neat. Ignoring this in the grate, you would either be forced to go up this direction and be shot down, then you make your way all around here, or mix them up and go, like, across here. And even then, you still have to get at least this close, roughly. Yeah, around about here, to even break the basket. And then, of course, you're alternate to that, outside of going around the very long way, which I'm not even going to touch on that. At that point, you might as well just do this, and then just jump up. Like, you would throw, you could throw, if you have a wall, it's a bit better, but... You still have to get pretty close for it. They've had a bloody ink rail, so you can go. It's not the greatest, but you can still just very quickly. This is a get the ink shall be very quickly, and you can just. Phwah. And you have this extension here for like defenders as well, so if you really wanted to, you can just do this. Pressure a bit if you're sitting painting, so let's just do this. If you're sitting pressuring all of a sudden, like someone's trying to like run away and all that, you're like, ah, ah, ah. no, you don't. Then you run all the way over here. You can also do this as well. You can just do a quick hop over here and you can just get back easily. But yeah, that's all the stage changes that have been added to Splatoon 3's supposedly final major update 8.0. This definitely has a lot of good and a lot of mid kind of results. Some stuff that are good and some stuff that are bad, like why is my throw? I like the change they did on Bluefin specifically, but there are some other good stages that haven't changed drastically. Namely, Barnacle, Hammerhead, you name it. So, we are eating good. e could have been a bit better, Scorch could have been a little bit better, some stages like that. I'm not going to say much more about it. I'm not going to drag on for too much longer because I've already been recording for three hours trying to get all the stages. That's going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, then give it a like. And if you want some more Splatoon content via live stream or video, then Stick around for that and subscribe. Yeah, let's get it. Thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.